Hello dear friends, this is Watson. In this video, we will show you how to change a laser tube ignition unit in your laser machine. An ignition unit has two terminals on the right side, the power supply terminal and the control terminal. They must be switched off before dismantling the unit. There are two cables coming out from the left side of the high voltage unit. The first one is connected to the cathode of the laser tube and the second one, a high voltage cable, to the anode of the laser tube. The high voltage unit is attached to the wall with screw nails. Unscrew the top screws of the high voltage unit. Unscrew the bottom screws of the high voltage unit and remove it. Remove the power supply terminal and the control terminal. Cut the cable that goes to the cathode of the laser tube. Disconnect the terminal of the high voltage cable that is connected to the tube's anode. Pull the unit out of the machine. Disconnect the high voltage cable from the laser tube and pull it out of the machine. Put in and lay in a new high voltage cable for the laser tube. Connect the new cable to the laser tube. Install a new high voltage unit in the machine. Connect the power supply terminal and then the control terminal. Connect the high voltage cable terminal that goes to the anode of the laser tube to the high voltage unit terminal. Now you need to solder the cable that goes to the cathode of the laser tube. Place a heat shrink sleeve on the brazing joint. Skin and twist the wires. Solder the wires. Place a heat shrink sleeve on the brazing joint and heat it up to insulate the joint. Attach the high voltage unit to the machine's bed again. To adjust the maximum current, you need to unscrew the wire from the cathode of the laser tube. Take a small piece of wire with similar cross section and screw it to the cathode of the laser tube. Now we have two wires that we need to connect to a multimeter instrument to measure the current being fed to the laser tube. Take the multimeter, connect the number one wire to the number one tester and the number two wire to the number two tester. The order is random. Switch on the multimeter and set it in the position of measuring current up to 200 milliamps. Set the maximum possible laser beam power on the machine's display. The maximum current is set by adjusting the potentiometer that is situated inside the high voltage unit. You will need a thin slotted screwdriver. Put it in the voltage unit hole where the potentiometer is and twist it clockwise or against the clock. When adjusting, you should observe the multimeter readings. Press pulse on the display. Watch the multimeter and twist the potentiometer in the direction you need, in the direction of reducing the current or increasing the current. For this case, we have set the maximum current strength to 28 milliamps. Everything works fine. Contact our specialists and we will be glad to help you with your technical issues. We look forward to seeing you on our channel again. Good luck!